Hey guys, it's Matt, Matt Wonka here with another, well, not another episode, but another thing on the projects page, except it's not quite on the projects page yet. Uh, this is a story idea that actually came to me while I was at work today, trying to think about my NaNoWriMo story. And it wasn't coming up with much, but I did manage to write, mentally compose at least, most of a superhero short story in my head. Uh, one that I actually think is really good, and if I could find a superhero anthology, though there doesn't seem to be much anthology about superheroes, it tends to be more on um, fantasy based. Um, but the basics of this story, uh, you know, involve, you know, think of it like The Incredibles, where the kids don't know their parents had superpowers. Okay, it's like combining uh, The Incredibles, I suppose you can have my two hands on the screen, The Incredibles. And the mom and dad from Ender's Game, uh, where the kids think their parents are, like, you know, mundane, but the parents aren't. The parents are still just as brilliant. And so, you know, the, the thought came to me of, you know, um, like, the reason that superheroes don't ever tell their parents is because they never, you know, parents tend to do extremely terrible at, you know, raising superheroes. A lot of superhero just kind of needs to happen on its own. And so my basic thought is that there was a, um, a supervillain and a supervillain, eh, not supervillainess, a heroine, uh, you know, 15, 20 years back, um, that fell in love and went off the grid, went into hiding, raised a family. Lo and behold, because both mom and dad had superpowers, kids have superpowers. But because, you know, they know that it was, you know, Part, you know, partially the supervillainy comes from not having a good, happy home life, and superheroism comes from knowing the right things to do. Uh, they decide that instead of just outright telling their kids, they're just going to be good parents and let them develop naturally. Uh, at least that was what they decided when their first one happened. By the third, they decided they couldn't tell and they just kept up the pace. And so, you know, there's a lot of fun scenes um, in my head about, you know, uh, all these kids, different kids have powers, and one of them might be struggling with, like, an electric villain, and, you know, you see, ah, I don't have the newspaper, uh, you know, the next morning at breakfast, the dad pulls out his newspaper, and he's like, hmm, he's going to have to call the repairman again, the sprinkler system shorted out with that rain, blast of water always getting into the electrical system, and then, you know, the other, the kid who's having the problem, like, stops eating his cereal, and thinks about it for a second, and then, you know, manages to beat up the electric bad guy. And so the parents, you know, slowly coach their kids in how to be superheroes without ever letting them know that, A, the parents know that the kids are superheroes, and B, that the parents were superhero slash a villain. Until, you know, there's finally a gigantic thing that the ba kids need to fight, and they're supposed to act as a team, and they're not acting as a team, and they're just fighting. And so I'm just picturing the scene. It's like a slightly rainy day, and they're at, you know... I don't know, in a park somewhere, you see the villain who's got, like, storm powers, and he's like, -ha 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 -ha, and he's up in the clouds and everyone, and, like, the two twin brothers are fighting, and the, you know, and the girl's part in, in it, too, and then you see the dad just come up here and, like, Spencer, Yueki, Tyler, go to your room! What? <laughs> I'm sorry, random citizen, you must have me confused with my life. Spencer, you get to your room now. And pretty much the dad just comes in and grounds all of the kids for fighting when they're supposed to be superheroes. And they're like, Dad, what about the villain? Oh, worry about the villain. You do as I say. And the villain's like, wah, -ha -ha. with them gone, I will. And then the dad totally, like, forms, like, a laser whip with his hand, reaches up and like, whoosh, lassos the supervillain, brings him down, and then backhands him into the ground goes up to him, pulls off his mask, it's like some teenage kid, he takes a picture of him and tells him that he stops being a supervillain or this picture gets posted on every Interpol FBI site ever and he'll never be able to get away. And so then, like, the, you know, they go home and there's their mom who's you know, berates them over their costumes because they totally come home in costumes, no time to change. And their mom's like, what? You're wearing a cape that's not tear away? What a superhero fashion faux pas. And, you know, berates them even more. And then, uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure what the whole point towards the story is. Uh, I know I, I want to have, you know, they've got, like, a superhero academy that all the superhero kids, or kids with superpowers go to. And so you've got, you know, the old school superhero who's dressed up in, 
you know, slightly graying temples and suit and tie. And he comes, knocks on the door and comes in where all five of them are sitting in the living room. And, you know, the mom totally used to, like, date him back when they were on the same superhero team. And the guy just totally has no clue because he thought he was dead. And then, I don't know. Not entirely sure where I want to go with it, but that's the basics of the story. I think it's got a lot of fun in it. So let me know what you think. I'm sorry that there's no actual, like, sketchy thing in here. Um, school and stuff is really busy. Nato Rhino sucks. It's terrible. It's evil. And I'm not very good at it, apparently. My average word count is like 800. And I'm just very, very despising Sunday's work. Because I only put in like 200 words Sunday. But I'm supposed to be putting in 1600. So I need to write even more to catch up. And that's not cool. And work sucked today. So sorry, guys, that there's no actual sketchbook here. Um, I'm so behind in stuff anyway. <sighs> so, anyway, that's all I have here. This will probably get up to the projects page eventually, maybe. I don't know. You know, after I'm done with NaNoWriMo, uh, I might write this up as a short story and see if I can't find an anthology to sell it to. Because I like it, actually. And I think it's a pretty strong story for anthology bait. So, if you have any comments, um, if you're on my website, hit the glowing light bulb below and send me uh, via the PHP submission form, that's what it's written in, which I've recently tweaked a little bit, so I'll be actually able to read your messages. I haven't, you know, I had set a limit on them, so I couldn't, so I kept scrolling down when I got a message saying there's new messages, and there wasn't anything new. But I fixed that now, I should be able to see them, so yeah, that's good. Anyway. I think that's it from me today. Once again, I'm sorry. Comment below. Real update tomorrow, I promise. Cross my heart. Hope that I stick a cupcake in my eye. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.